Textures are 2D images which are usually applied to mesh surfaces of 3D models through a material, and rendered by its shader in order to produce the final rendering of an object. They may also be referred to as maps or inputs, and be used for different effects, such as storing different data within their channels, like color, transparency or normal maps. Take note of this point, as it is of extreme importance when working with shaders. We'll revisit it at a later time in more detail. The texture channels are the color components of the image, usually stored in the sRGB color space format, standing for standard red, green, blue, sometimes holding an additional channel named alpha that, despite being usually associated with transparency, may also be used to store any other data required in the same fashion as the other channels. Although individual channels dictate how much red, green or blue is displayed, they are actually devoid of color, with a value range between 0 and 1, where 0 is full black and 1 is full white. The GPU is responsible for interpreting those values and generating the monitor signals required to display the actual color set in the textures. Typical image editing and manipulation software usually displays RGB channels through an integer value range of 0 to 225 per channel, which is as much as a single 8-bit byte can hold, and also what we'll be using in future examples. In PBR, the commonly used texture maps depend on whether you're working on a metallic or a non-metallic shader, even though most maps are common to both workflows. In these short introductory videos we managed to scratch the surface of the Unity rendering pipeline, shaders, physically based rendering, 3D models, materials and textures. Be sure to check the listed resources for additional information and the official Amplify Shader Editor wiki page linked in the description. Stay tuned for the next video tutorials, thank you for watching!